welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'm gonna be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how i will make my own skin on my s24 ultra so actually guys i have made some few skins already but today i'm gonna be showing you the apps that i need to download or the apps that i'm using for me to be able to do a skin so i have three skins here um i have this orange color which i really love and I also have this purple one which I think I'll be using in today's video and we also have this bluish or like turquoise color but this one I think it's just too bright so I'm not sure but since I'm not using this one I'll still cut this for my S24 Ultra so the machine that I'm using is this Cricut Joy so for you to be able to use this one you have to download an app called Cricut Design so I decided to buy this one for myself since I really love changing skins on my phone and I think buying skins from sellers will cost much so I decided to buy my own one and make my own skins and I just bought like different colors of stickers which I'm really very excited and looking forward to arrive so the next thing you have to have is the Etsy or you can open Etsy on any web browser and then search for S24 Ultra skin template or if you don't have the S24 Ultra you can write um, the phone or the model of the phone that you have and then add skin template so my template is from this seller so I'll be leaving the link down below just in case you guys wanted to have the same template as I do and then I saved the file to my iCloud so it comes with different um, designs so you can have this one and then you can have another one I mean it comes with I think six or nine different designs but for me personally I just wanted to have the back skin and I don't want to put any skins on the sides of the phone or the titanium side because I wanted to keep it as it is since it's really looking nice and it shows that it is the S24 Ultra that I'm using so this is the design that I always make use of whenever I cut a skin for my S24 Ultra and you can actually make your own screen protector as well if you wanted to. So there are like two different screen protectors. You can have the one which has a cut out on the camera part and there's also one screen protector that just covers everything even the camera part. So right now guys I'm going to be using this one so I will upload this on my Cricut Joy app. So this is the Cricut design app. So I actually already have the um, the layout but you can take a photo or select from your um, gallery or browse files and stuff like that. So for me since I already uploaded this one then I can just grab it directly from my app. So once you have uploaded your design, all you have to do is to make sure that it is in place. Um, I always make sure that mine is within 0 and 1, just between 0 and 1. I don't go way too high up and I won't go too low because then I'm going to be wasting the skin. So I always make sure that it's in between 0 and 1. And then after that, when I'm fine with everything, I'll just click make it and i'll click without a mat so if you have a mat then just click on mat but if you don't have to you can click without a mat so after that one this one will appear so I, you can move your design or your layout but always make sure that it is in between the red line and it's better if the design won't touch the red line so i always move mine a little bit and then after that i'll click next and then you just have to wait until your phone can find your uh, machine so for me it's the Cricut Joy and then after clicking that one this one will connect with my machine and then after that you can set up how your machine will cut your design so since I have a removable sticker then I'm gonna be clicking removable and then for the pressure I'll just leave it as default but you can click hard or like softer pressure I don't know <laughs> but I just always leave mine with default and then I let my Cricut Joy um, set up my skin and then after that all you have to do is just to click go.
So now that it's done cutting the skin, the next thing that it'll do is to unload the sticker. So you don't have to grab it because the machine will automatically unload the skin. So if you can see guys, there's already a cut out here. Um, the next thing I'll do is to cut the two other stickers. So you guys might be wondering why I bought this Cricut Joy that cost almost around 300 USD just to cut my own phone skins. I mean, I have been buying um, different phone skins from different sellers and I can tell you guys, it's not really cheap at all. Um, it costs a lot, especially if you have to think about the shipping as well going to Sweden. So that's why I decided to get myself the Cricut Joy just so that I can cut my own phone skins anytime that I wanted to, any colors or design that I wanted to. Because if you notice guys, there's a lot of phone skin sellers who are not really selling like girly colors of phone skins. So I've decided to just get myself this Cricut machine just so that I can make my own phone skins and I don't have to be patiently waiting for the shipping. So that's the reason why I got this one for myself. So I'm waiting for the other skins to arrive. I have like a lot of skins coming. So I'm thinking of making a giveaway for you guys, my viewers, just um, by the time that it will arrive here, I'm gonna be announcing that probably pretty soon. Hopefully um, around March, my box will arrive. Um, and then I'm gonna be giving you guys an update about that. So now that we're done cutting this purple one, I'm going to be applying this to my phone. And you guys might be wondering if this one is reusable. Well, the answer is yes. So I usually um, change skins on my phone and save the other ones that I have used so I can reuse them next time. So I only use the hair blower here or hair dryer just so that I can make the skin freely sticks to the phone. And what's really good about our phones nowadays is that we have a matte glass so then the skin doesn't really stick too much on the phone um, so it's a lot easier to apply this and to remove it. So I'll be showing you guys on a later part of this video how I keep the used skins and how the skin looks when you're outdoor. So just keep on watching until the very end part. So applying a skin on the S24 Ultra is really a lot easier compared to applying a skin on my S23 Ultra before since the back is totally flat so it's a lot easier to align the stickers, it's a lot easier to make it stick to the phone. So um, applying a skin on your S24 Ultra I can say is really easy. So I always make sure to just remove all the excess bubbles and after that I'll just blow dry but please keep in mind don't make your phone really get so warm. Always make sure to like distribute the heat and don't focus on just one side because I'm too scared you might ruin your phone if you'll do that. So this is how the phone looks and I'm really loving it. It's too glittery, it's purple. I really hope Samsung released this color because I would probably get it. This is really so pretty. So I'm gonna be giving you a closer look guys just so that you can see the colors well. So I'm just really scared for my camera since I haven't ordered any camera lens protector yet. But I think I'll do that later after I'm done editing this video. I just noticed that the camera is really too out. It's protruding and I don't have any protectors. But yeah, so I'm really loving the colors. It's so glittery. And now guys, I'm going to be showing you what I do whenever I change skins on my phone. So if you notice guys, I have these two used skins that I have. I just try them on my phone. So what I usually do if I wanted to remove the skin is that I'll put the skin back to the paper and I always make sure that the paper doesn't have any dust just so that it won't um, stick to the phone. And then after that, I'll remove the skin from my phone and I'll put it back to the paper. So you don't really have to worry about the adhesive because there's no adhesive at all on the phone. So your phone is clean and there's no marks or anything. So you just have to put it back to the paper and apply it on the phone. So now guys, I'm going to be showing you how the skin looks outdoor. 
so here it is i'm really loving it it's so pretty this is really so me i'm so in love with the color with the glitters and everything so yeah if you think this video is very helpful it's entertaining please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed on my channel please i'm asking you go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below so yeah thank you so much guys for watching and i hope to see you all on my next one bye